horse lovers, this is serious. We are at a horse auction today and there were 27 weanlings, draft cross weanlings brought down from Manitoba, Canada to Michigan and they are at this auction today. There are roans, there are bays, blue roans, red roans, buckskins. So I'm gonna figure out more information. All I know is that they came off a ranch in Manitoba and I am freaking out. So I got my bidding number, the catalog. We're gonna go check them out now. I really hope that one of them will work out for us today. And I brought the trailer. I am freaking out right now. I am incredibly excited. I literally woke up at 3.30 in the morning because I was so excited about today. I cannot even contain my excitement. Oh, fingers crossed that something will work out and that they won't go for $10,000. Now, in a previous video, I talked a little bit about why I want a weanling. It is not just for Ezzy to have a friend. That is a huge bonus, but here's my thought process. So I am not gonna be able to train and break horses forever, right? I'm 32 years old. Obviously, I'm still young, but I'm also aware that time goes really fast and I already have to wait about four years to actually ride Ezzy. So I might as well get her another friend since I don't have a mare in full, plus get something I really truly want to spend the time bringing along years and years and ride them when they are older. So if I have to wait for one, might as well wait for two, right? Plus they'll have each other to bond with and play with and it'll be perfect. Kyle's real serious today. <laughs> well, my horse today. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, sir, can I come live on your ranch in Texas? <laughs> you got money? Can you buy me a filly? No, I'm broke. <laughs> are you broke or are you horse poor? There's a difference. Car poor. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, let's go check them out. Maybe one of them will capture my heart. So I mainly want a filly just because I feel as though Belle will be more accepting at this time. She loves like Bagheera and she gets annoyed with the other geldings with Ezzy. So that's kind of why I'm leaning towards that but we'll see. We're walking over, they're in the other building. Apparently they're just loose in a pen, so I don't even know if this, if these guys are, are halter broke. Because <laughs> people think weanlings, you know, shouldn't really be halter broke. And here's Ezzy who can, you know, do a bunch of things already. So let's, should be interesting. He's a stud colt. He's a stud colt, but he's absolutely stunning. Yeah, you like him. Yeah. All of these weanlings are a mix between fillies and colts, and they were brought down from Manitoba, Canada a couple days ago and weaned as well. Now, I'm not saying that I am supporting that they are four months old and weaned, but it is what it is. Hi, However, baby. they are absolutely beautiful. So they are all draft crosses of some sort, and I'll talk about that a little bit more later. But right now, Kyle and I are just walking through, seeing if we're interested in any of them. I like this one, but he's a colt. This one's a little smaller, also a colt though. I know if we buy a weanling today that they have to be very special because we will have to wait a long time to ride them. It'll take years to work with them and also gain their trust since they're pretty unhandled. So they just have to be the right one. I'm not just buying one to buy one. I have to truly feel a connection with that foal and want to put in that time and effort. Most of you know that I love draft crosses and like I said, all of them are drafty and Kyle loves roans. So a lot of the ones that we're looking at are roans and buckskins because again, we wanna get what we want and the ones that are roans that we're looking at currently, most of them are stud colts. So again, just because I want Belle to accept them, that's why I'm weary of getting a stud colt. Look at this little sorrel. Oh my gosh, sleeping such sweet babies. They are absolutely precious. Like I said, so far the ones we've really liked have been stud colts. I thought that this filly was super beautiful, but she's gonna be gray. I have nothing against grays, but I already have four of them, so I don't need another gray in terms of cleaning. You know what I mean? Then we were walking around and found Hi. the most gorgeous filly. Look at her. She is just stunning and actually she's extremely friendly and curious. Once I started scratching her, she just completely melted and loved the attention. And I think she's gonna be a pretty big girl. Billy or, Billy or Cole. 26. Ooh, it's a filly. 
Oh, that's it. Also my second pick. Okay, I like her. She wants more. And she's going to stay this color most likely. I mean, I think she's around four to five months old, they were saying, and she has a huge dorsal stripe that's very prominent. I just think she's incredibly beautiful and seems to have an adoring personality. And it does seem like she fancies me a little bit too. So that's a big bonus. And I think she's, like I said, going to be a pretty big girl. She's got a long leg on her and she's built pretty nice. And of course, you know, I do love color. I don't just buy for color, but I do love it. And she has it. So we'll see, but I am totally interested in her. She's 100% on my list. I put a giant heart next to her and I, I just can't stop petting her and touching her because she's just so sweet. Kyle really likes her as well. So <laughs> Look at her big hooves. Hi. When we saw this filly, we knew that she was special. There's just something about her. And look at her and her little full mate cuddling. That is so precious. Just so you guys know, they were all out in a big pasture together. They're not bonded pairs per se. Just so you understand that. And I cannot get to. Okay, I literally cannot take that on right now okay especially since they're unhandled but i wish i could i really do but they're just so precious you know how much kyle adores roans and when he saw her he was like she's the one i mean she's beautiful she's a draft cross and he just really really liked her and the other one she was with was beautiful too both are fillies here i'm just getting in there to look her over you can tell that she's just so tired. They've had an exhausting last few days. I just can't even imagine. And she's very weary to touch. So the other one was extremely friendly where she is a little bit more standoffish, but that is completely understandable. She is a Bay Roan and she will pretty much stay this color as well. She might get a little more pronounced in the darkness in her face and get a little more white on her body, but she will stay a Bay Roan color potentially get even a little bit darker. So her sire is a Brabant Percheron cross and her mom is a quarter horse draft cross. So she is over half draft and they think she'll be probably between 15, one and 16 hands high. So that's perfect because she's gonna be very stocky. So she's not gonna be a frail 15, one. I think we think she's probably gonna be like 15, two. That is our estimate. So that would be an excellent size considering she's gonna be very thick as well. I don't know, but she's gonna be a total challenge compared to the other full, the other filly. So I don't know, I have to make some decisions here, but my goodness, they are both just so incredibly gorgeous. Okay, so here is the scoop. Like I said, the horses, the foals all came from a ranch. They breed quite a few foals a year. All of the studs are Brabant and Percheron crosses. And then the dams are quarter horses. So they are all half drafts. And a lot of them are, like I said, they're buckskins, roans. They are so beautiful, but they are unhandled. Okay, so they are not halter broke. Some of them are a little bit skittish. So this is gonna be a big commitment. Even if they're friendly, like the one that I was touching, number 26, the blue roan filly, she still has not been halter broke and her feet have not been picked up or anything like that. So I don't know, this is gonna be crazy. We're gonna see what they end up going for price-wise. But long-term, this could be an amazing opportunity to have a gorgeous foal and a crossbred, like a really nice crossbred once they mature. And of course, again, as he can have a friend. So I don't know, we'll see. What is she? Raven quarter horse, this is another one. She has a halter on. 
This was another weanling filly. I'm not sure if she was from Canada as well, but she's also a draft cross. There was this gypsy cross as well, super sweet. This one looks to be a little bit older, possibly a yearling or an older weanling. And of course, Kyle had to go look at the ponies. He's obsessed with them. This one's actually adorable. And this pony was super friendly as well. Reminded me of the one that I liked at the last sale I was at too. Kyle liked this one. <laughs> Kyle really likes all of the horses. It's so incredibly sweet. He's so supportive and I just appreciate him so much. And he enjoys going and looking at all the different horses too. Look at this big Belgian, just massive. And this girl was huge too. You're cute. Nice fine quarters. This is classified as a Crumello, and I think they're super pretty. Kyle isn't a huge fan of them looks-wise, but this guy seemed really sweet, and I thought he was beautiful. You just have to be careful with their pink skin. And then this crossbred mare, she is stout. Oh my goodness, I love her hooves. She's so thick. And then this little team was adorable. I like the size of them, plus they're stocky too. And this pony had the cutest face. What a sweet little pinto with one blue eye. And the next all over, there was this little weanling and another pony. They're going to start the bidding very soon. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do and who I'm going to bid on. And also they're not gonna be going in order. So I have no idea if she's gonna go first, if number 26, the other filly is gonna go first. I just have to make a decision on which one I feel as though I want to take on. And again, I am so serious when I buy a horse. Like this is important and a big, big decision. And I know Kyle really loves this foal. So, but honestly, I'm the one who's gonna be doing the training and all of the care. So we need to decide for both of us, which one is gonna make sense and be the best. I feel like with this filly that I will have to earn her trust and she's gonna make me work for it. So if I decided to take her on, it's gonna be like something I've never done before. Have a completely unhandled foal that's already four months old. Like of course I had Ezzy, but that was a little bit easier since I had her from the very beginning, like the day she was born. That was good progress. <laughs> See, a day or two, she'd be I think so. loving up on you. She seems, the vibe I get from her is she's going to give me a little more of a challenge, but she's it's smart. like a good, like it's a fiery energy, but it's, it's not crazy. Like it's good. Like she has spirit. She's a free spirit. Where the other weanling Billy, I just, I don't know, she just made me melt too. So they're just two different vibes. I don't know, it's her. She's gonna go first, and I love them both. These are the two that I'm very interested in. So, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I take this really seriously. I'm not just like, oh, I just wanna buy. Like, I have to feel that connection and understand what I'm taking on. And this filly is just so kind and gentle. Her personality is amazing. And I know that if I went with her, it's gonna be a lot easier. She's not gonna be as complicated, just to put it in simple terms. She's gonna be very easy to probably halt or break and handle. So I just have to decide what is going to be worth it. A little bit more info regarding the weanling. So essentially they were weaned a couple days ago so they literally were pulled from their moms had a 21 hour drive from canada to michigan so that is a lot for them to take on i just think it'd be such an incredible opportunity to have another weanling a foal to work with and you know raise and bring up and just train so this is just such a unique situation given my situation looking for a weanling and i just feel like i can't pass up the opportunity i'll be honest there's not a ton of people here so maybe maybe i will get lucky with the pricing. But if I purchase one today, it's gonna be a journey working with them and getting them used to being handled, picking up their feet, training them to the halter and all of that. But the good part is once they have those basics, then it's just, you know, continuing to stay consistent with that and then continuing to work with them as they mature. The bidding is gonna start soon, horse lovers. I don't know, I haven't even decided which one to bid on. I really love the Red Roan Philly, number 12, and I also really love 26.
Okay, they're getting ready to come in. What'd you say? I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm rubbing yeah, off yeah. on you. Right now they're trying to figure out how they're gonna get the foals like through the pens and all of that because they're not halter broke, so we're waiting on that. <laughs> I cannot believe that we got another weanling. She is absolutely gorgeous. I am so excited. We're getting everything ready to load her up. So again, she is not halter broke. They've been handled in the sense that they got their coggins. They're not completely terrified. We definitely can't halter her or anything like that right now. So the plan is I'm gonna get her home, put her in a stall, just let her relax. I mean, she has gone through a lot the past couple days coming down from Canada you know, being weaned and then going through the auction. So we just want to let her settle in and obviously quarantine and then we'll go from there. Okay, we're going to figure out the game plan um, regarding loading her. So we're going to figure that out now. 
Okay, so the plan is we're just gonna go ahead and open up her pen. She's gonna walk to that back door, which opens and Kyle will back the trailer up there. And we're gonna shut that panel that she's walking towards now. And then she'll just be able to go ahead and step in the trailer freely at Liberty. And she will be riding in the trailer loose. There really isn't a good way to haul her. I mean, honestly, it's only a two hour drive and we're just gonna be very careful. Okay. I know, honey. I know you're scared. <laughs> I know this is super stressful for her, and I just want to get her home and comfortable. I, know, I just honey. really, oh, really home. can't imagine. But let's see how she ends up loading in the trailer. And again, she'll be loose in there because I don't want any dividers. Easy. Good girl. Good girl. How far a drive you got home? Two hours. You're going home, okay? I know, sweetheart. Let's go. All right, horse lovers, it's been a really exciting day. We are gonna get her home. So this is to be continued, okay? Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications. You don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian or any updates with our new weanling.